Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do for the hamstrings is in the Smith machine. We use a bench as a guide here, and we're gonna do what are called um, wide stance squats, but we're gonna do them for the hamstring. So enable for us to do that, we need to come down to a low position. So we've got the bench set up here, which I'll demonstrate. Your butt basically touches the bench. You don't sit on it, but you use it as a guide, and then you thrust your hips forward away from the bench so that you bring the hamstrings into play. If you just go straight up and down, you will be very quad dominant, which means you'll work the front of your legs. We want to use this at the end of a hamstring workout because the hams will be fatigued by now so that they'll feel this exercise a lot more than you would if you'd done it at the start. So I'll just demonstrate what we're doing. We're looking at 10 to 15 reps. Okay, now we're going to go on to the Smith Machine wide squat. So we do this in a slight variation to a traditional squat where you've got your feet shoulder width apart. So we're going to go very wide with your feet pointed at 45 degree angles and slightly ahead of you. Using a Smith machine means you can thrust your hips forward at the bottom position to really engage your hamstring. This is one of the best exercises to bring your, your inner thigh, your adductors into play. Much better than the small little isolating movements you might see in a lot of women using in gyms today. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing for this exercise. The idea is that you use the inner thigh at the bottom position to thrust you forward. So your feet are very wide apart and your feet are pointing at 45 degree angles. 